welcome everyone and today I'm going to do music training. Let's have fun and let's go. Hello, welcome. Alright, create a game. Not atomic. Not atomic. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright. The on oh game's over. Mr. Zay F G against the Predator twenty five thousand. Ooh. Ooh. The English master Emmanuel Jimenez. Hello, good luck. He's from. Costa Rica. How did we even play? Wow. So long time ago. He's from San Jose. Costa Rica is a federation of 2453. Jesus Jimenez Garcia. Good luck. Okay. I have six. Let's go for E6 here. It's likely that he may go for c4. Because c4 is actually one of the main moves. But he goes for g3, alright, I'll go g5. This bishop b7, is he going for c4 now? Or castle, castle, c4? Castle, castle, and then is he going to go for c4 or is he going to go for like knight bd2? Or b3? No, he goes for c4. Alright, he takes c. Okay. Alright. Okay, what is he going to play here? Bam, 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 bam. Queen c2. Let's go for a6. Alright. Probably a4 is the move he's going to go for. Because queen c4, fb5, and uh, yeah, quite nice position. Yep, he does go for e4, a4. So for bishop g7. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, 95. Okay. Bishop 6 looks quite good. Knight 6 also looks quite good. Mm. I think I might go for bishop c6. Basically, d4 pawn hangs, so it is likely that we are going to take and then he'll go for queen c4. May I take some 6, take some 6, then or e3 from him, I think, or queen c4 or bishop c6. Yeah, bishop 6 is likely. He did go for it. Queen c4, let's go for queen d5 here. Okay. I think if we are going to trade wins after c5, I will be very well placed. If queen c2, I'll just take on d4. If queen c3, I may try c5, and then c takes d stuff. So I like my position. Seems like I developed quite well. He may go for knight 2 though. I think that's maybe the move he's considering. And for kd8, it should be quite alright, it feels like. I think he'll go for ninety two. Yep, he does. C five and basically if capture I take. 
And d takes c, bishop c5, knight f3, rook a b8. Let's try c5 actually. Because I have double pawns, let's try to get rid of them. Maybe it wasn't super good, but I, I like it. I mean, I could have go for rook f d8, but I think after e3, c5, it would have been more or less the same. Okay, queen d5, let's take with e pawn. So basically, if he is going to take on c5, I can take back. And kind of is a late pawn, but I do not have a late pawn at the same time, because my c pawn can still protect d5 pawn, so it is technically not called isolated. Yep. Here. Let's go for bishop d6. Okay. I'm not sure if I played the best way I could have, but it seems quite fine. Okay. Ninety five. An interesting move. Pretty much think the main idea is like I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Uh what the idea of this move is. Second Feels like I can just go for kb8 and it will be just fine. So I'll go for it. Basically, like pinning, not pinning, but not letting his bishop move. Yeah, I was, I was kind of waiting that he'll go for b3. Not, not surprised that he went for it. Because I think it was one of the main moves he was thinking about. And yeah. It would be very cool if I would have go for bishop b4 and then rook b3. Now if I go for bishop b4, he has knight c6. And basically, it doesn't work as well as I wanted to. I can try c5 and then like bishop c7. That is looking interesting. So for c5, yeah. Then maybe rook f8, then bishop c7. Knight 6, rook b6, knight can actually get stuck, so he has to be careful. Okay, he plays bishop a3. Alright, I can go for bishop 7 now, but I don't think I will. Or I can go for rook f c8 here, and pretty much like leave his knight there. Mm, what he can do there is rook c one try to double up with the rooks, but then I can go for knight d7 and put a block. I don't know how he's going to break through it. Play rook f8, but then rook fc1, rook e2, bishop c5, this, d4. Okay, rook f8 looks fine. This. So pretty much bishop c7. Here I can just take. I love the isolated pawn, but it should be quite fine, I think. So in bishop c7, I'm pretty sure he is forced to go for knight 6, so let's go for bishop 7 Yeah, position is looking quite nice, so knight 6 is forced, I think. And yeah, I guess so, because I don't see any other move where he can save his knight. Yeah, so knight c6 is being played. Let's try rook b6. Guess he'll go knight a5. Oh yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. So I can go for a draw. I can try rook b b8 knight 6 and then take on b3. Hmm. Or I can try like knight e4 and then rook bb8 and do scary stuff. Basically knight e4, his knight cannot move. If he goes for rook c1, I can try like bishop e5 and like knight d2 afterwards. 
Oh, let's try an 84. Let's play. Okay. Basically, if he goes for rook fc1, I have like rook f6 idea. And then f2 pawn may fail, and then maybe more stuff are going to fail. Right now... Right now, basically, rook bb8, knight 6, rook b3 is the actual threat. Knight d2 is kind of, let's say, semi-threat, I think. And yep, yeah, let's just wait what he for his move. Okay, rook a c1. Okay, nice move. Nice idea. Mm -hmm. This seems like okay, rook b8, this rook b3, bishop takes, knight 3 with knight 2 idea, and then knight a4 idea. Then basically I'm showing it for yes ninety seven stuff. Okay, let's go rook b eight. Yes, you'll go knight c six. Yeah, let's go back to b six. Think he's fine with the draw, so he'll probably repeat. So I don't know what else he may go for. I mean knight d four is possible, but yeah, he he's fine with a draw. But I want to win, so. So I'll try to look for the way I can continue playing. I mean, bishop d6 is definitely away, but then rook fd1, and I'm, I'm not so sure if it is good there. Knight d2, rook d1, knight b3, knight It doesn't look great either. Okay, I didn't see the other way to continue playing than this. And then rook b3, he takes and try knight c3. And then yes, knight d4. And then I know what to do. <laughs> um, I mean, rook c3 is a move I can try. Knight d2 is also the move. can definitely try. Rook c3 looks quite cool. Maybe it's not for stake though. Uh, what else can I go for? I can try h5. Maybe let's go for it. Rook fd1, I have like knight 3, and does have this bishop d4, so yeah, h5. Hmm, okay. Could have go for a draw, but, but yeah, let's try to win. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was intended sacrifice, intentionally. Set it intentionally. Let's go for bb8, I think. Because this is a little pawn was, I mean, a pawn, of course, but it was even a bit like annoying pawn, because I cannot really move, and it's always hanging, so I always had to think about it. But now that I sacrificed it away, or I blundered it away, but let's make it <laughs> like I sacrificed it, it looks quite nice. My pieces got a bit more active than they were, and yeah, looking quite cool. Even though I'm a pawn down, I think I have quite good compensation for that pawn. Maybe even if, even if I don't. <laughs> Let's just play it. Let's just play this position. Alright. <laughs> I'm pretty sure position is definitely not winning for both of us, so position is about equal. I'm pretty sure he is slightly better just because he has the pawn, but I have quite good compensation as I already said, I think. 
it's looking quite nice. He has to be careful with his minor pieces to include, because like night before, after night c5, he's knight, he's out of the game. So yeah, he has to be also quite careful. He goes for rook c2, he can go for rook e5 here. Yes, it is planned, I can go for rook c, but then he has rook f c1. Uh -huh. If rook e5 he goes for rook g1, I think. Yes, went there also. Hmm, but can I go else? What else can I go for? I think rook e5 is both. Didn't think I I don't I, I don't think I blundered anything. So this let's try h4. Bishop d4 is not possible because knight is going to fall. And I'm thacking a pawn and if he will take it, I have like rook h5, rook h4 ideas. And he had moved knight because bishop is going to fall. Alright, f4. Let's see what I missed, to be honest with you. Um yeah. Well, or rook e6 or rook e8. Maybe rook e6 with some rook g6 ideas is a bit more more troublemaking for him. So, <laughs> even if he's winning, the realization part is not going to be so sweet and easy, you know? <laughs> yeah, basically, that's what I'm trying to do. g4. Okay. I think I may try to fix with h3. He'll probably go for a 5. I'm not sure. No, rook d, bishop d4. Rook g6, g5. Makes sense. If rook g6, I guess like bishop e5. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Let's go for rook d6. Okay, yeah, I guess bishop e5 is, should be quite okay there. Because I can just go rook d8 and his knight is spent. Yep. Some other ideas, which maybe even, which even may be a bit more scarier. Just basically, bishop b5, rook d5. <laughs> That's your main idea, um, and maybe that was actually a blunder because knight seven. I can play rook e3 and then rook d4 threats, which seems very scary. And knight three, I just take. And okay, bishop b2. Is that the only move where it doesn't lose? Um. Bishop a7, some bishop a3 ideas. Can f1, okay. Alright. Now bishop b5 is an idea probably. Which you may consider. Bishop b3, I don't think I lose anything, do I? I don't think I do. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We are both less than a one and a half minutes, so yeah. <laughs> okay, takes, takes, takes. Rook c3, but no, I, oh, 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 my pawn hangs. Yikes. Yes, I can take. Try like knight e4. But I don't want to, so go for rook e4. Second this pawn, then king j, both of his pawns hang. And let's see which one of those he's going to defend. If bishop e5, I'll have knight c4 there, I think. If not, yeah, okay, he goes for this. I go knight, knight c4. As planned. Um, okay. Here. Knight e3. Knight g4. And f5 is looking very good. And if a pawn still hangs. It looks very cool. This, I think I uh, I can take that pawn. Definitely I can take it. 
Let's go for a b4, just like trying to put a bit more pressure on him. This he says, no, you don't put any pressure on me. Well, I'm answering well, we'll see. <laughs> this, let's move my knight. I'm not so sure if it is super good, though. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go to C4, I'm not sure about this at all. F6. Looking quite good. Play like in H7. Oh, thanks for the pawn. Okay, all right, I don't want to be Manuel Jimenez. Good game, thank you. Okay, <laughs> I forgot about making out a queen. <laughs> Good game, thank you. Uh, he maybe was like, wait, why is he like trolling my promotion to a knight? Yeah, I don't know, I just want to get a queen, but boom, but I got a knight. <laughs> so I need to be careful, because if I would promote to another night, it would be a draw. Uh, <laughs> so I spend uh, zero seconds, basically. <laughs> okay, so, in some game to Emmanuel Jimenez Garcia, he's from Costa Rica, San Jose, Costa Rica, it's a federation of 2453. I was quite sweaty game. No tactics. Yeah, an advantage here, but then G4, and he kind of threw it. What should we do is like literally the only good move. Oh, oh I've had this puzzle. I've played Queen H5, but Queen of 2 is correct. Na 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 na. I have good memory. Just 24. Thank you for a free, easy puzzle. Okay. 92 looks cool. 93 also looks cool. <coughs> 93, g takes h, queen of 3, it's it, queen h3, knight g3, hmm, bishop h3, g takes h, knight h3, king of 1, nothing, knight g2, knight c8, queen of 3, knight g3, and knight h4, then, uh, okay, knight e1, rookie on this, mm, his knight hangs, fair enough, I can just take rook b6, which should be 6, then knight g2, and then it looks like another talk. No, it was knight g2 immediately. Of course. Aha, uh -huh, bishop g4. Okay, it didn't even try knight c8. Oh, no, makes sense. <laughs> Alright, okay. Makes sense. Uh, and b5, a takes b. If it takes b, queen b5, bishop c6. Uh, I don't see anything there. Queen c1. Hmm. Hmm. Don't see it, don't see it. Mm, maybe 5, it takes b, queen b5, bishop c6, bishop a4. 
Um, but you're pretty far, no matter what, right? Pow! Um, pow and Nice! That was a circle puzzle. Okay, what do we have here? Queen A1, King C2. Uh, nope. A nope, a nope, a nope. Don't like this. I'm calculating some weird rook D2 now. <laughs> okay. Boom. I don't think he see like the mate and stuff. I see he made how he he can mate me, but I don't see how I can mate him, you know? Uh, that's, a, that's a little bit of a problem. You think? I think it is. Fairly big problem. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, it's everything good because he just says Bishop six, pretty much. <laughs> and it's nil, one nil. Hold on, like. Ooh, 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 that's interesting. Rook d3, rook d3, knight d3, king d2. Hmm. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> A4, this and a G4. Ooh. He basically rook D4. What's my threat? He basically just skips a move. Do I have like a forced mate or so? Oh, rook D3. Rook D3, I mean, sorry. Sorry. Mm, rook D3. If he just like plays nothing. Literally nothing. Rook C3. Mm, nice, and eh? Rook C3. Whoa! What a move! What a move! I got plus zero. You gotta be kidding! <laughs> ah, okay. I think I've solved this puzzle. I think I just need a draw. Queen of one ninety three. Nice. You see, <laughs> you see, I have quite decent memory. So yeah, in the game against Emmanuel Jimenez. Yeah, I was better at FC1. Makes sense. 6 3 2 for him, 5 1 1 for me. So it was cut a lot. We basically equal. I mean, simplified the position quite a lot. Rook F8, mistake here to go for F. Uh, I have to go for Rook F8 with the idea of Bishop to E7 and like Bishop D8 trying to win a piece. Yeah. This is. Here, Rook E5, mistake, I'd go for H4. Yeah, because basically. Yeah, trying to create more problems. Rook you want this here, you have to go for king g2. Just don't move. And here again, king g2, because he like pushed his pawns and kind of... He was trying to create problems for me, but it feels like he created problems for himself. And then king f2, mistake, you have to go for king g1. Guess here he just hung a pawn. And then slowly, but very cool, very well, I guess. Rook is you go for k7 instead of rook b6. Yeah, here I, I throw a3, of course. After k8, I played k7, I was like, oh, of course. <laughs> but okay, played k7, which is quite fine. And then here, king, yeah, basically, rook g4 was the move which kind of gave me the win because I was down two seconds and after this, I am completely winning. And because of yesterday, funny chess, I had not out a queen and I mostly did promote to a knight. And I had to be super careful to not accidentally promote to a knight again. And I was like, next three moves, I was in shock. I was like, whoa, what happened? And then I played weirdly, but I still managed to win at the end. GG. Yeah, that was so, oh, so, 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 so wild. Oh, well. 92 moves! How was it so long? Wait, excuse me, how? Oh, oh, of course, okay. I got like winning on move 63, I could have moved it to move 70, but I decided to make 30 extra moves. So this position was move 30. Ah, of course!
course, I like edit. Look at this. I added literally five moves twice. Because I was repeating, I wasn't sure about Yeah, Makes sense now. No, it makes a lot of sense. Right, default keep through and let's go. So, I mean, pretty much it was so good. Yeah, 95. During the game, I also didn't really understood the point. B3 is this? Huh? So? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. Here to go for bishop d2. Just putting pressure with bishop f6 idea. And basically, this, this, 92. And then Stockfish just says make an easy draw. Basically, this, this, takes, takes, g6, and that's a draw. Makes sense. But, 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 okay. Rook f8 was kind of a mistake. I'd go for rook f c8. And it would be better, like rook c1, bishop e7. King g2, play bishop d8. Knight is stuck. He should go for this. And I'm better, close to winning, kind of. Of course, no, but okay. That was another mistake. He had to go for rook c1, and that would be equal. And I can have to go for bishop uh, rook c8. It would be better. This, then, yeah, basically, I could have forced a draw. I decide not to, because I didn't want to draw. Uh, that's a mistake from me. I had to go for rook d3, and then knight b4, rook a3. If knight a6, that's an easy draw. Let's see, 6 rook a4. That's also equally, she's slightly better. Rook d1, h4. Uh, f4 was a mistake. Yeah, again, he just had to go for king g2. He's better. He's through the advantage once. And then rook e6, g4 just even gave me slight advantage. He had to go for King, uh, no, 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 king g2. And it would be better, slightly better. Basically, why g4 is a mistake? Look, h3, bishop d4, rook d6. Even though it's a mistake, I had to go for rook g6. And then, uh, okay. Rook g6 would have been better. And if g. Oh, oh, of course, yeah, I just didn't see that the knight hangs over here. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, rook d6, this move would have been a huge blunder, because rook d5, and then after rook d5, there is rook b1 and mate. So yeah, okay, bishop a7, uh, this, this, and then slowly I started getting an edge. This, yeah, that was a necrosy, it just gifted me one pawn. If can g1, then z, z, through c4, be equal. We are to win, but he gave me a pawn. Um, this still holdable. That, um, yeah, that's a necrosy. Just had to go for king for reaching problems with his king. Because, yeah, he didn't really have to move his bishop. That was a mis blunder he had to go for. Yes, rook h7 and stay. Uh, knight h4 would be better, but still. King h7 was a mistake. A3 and I'm completely winning. Basically takes, takes, oh no wait, takes rook c3, this, oh that's actually made g6, but okay, knight h6 or knight e3, everything works pretty much, but knight h6 would have been a safer win, that's winning, and yeah, king e2, this is pretty much maybe some problems, but I managed to win, that was a mistake, king, bishop a1, <laughs> with some compensation, but after this, I, yeah, he gave me the rook, he literally gave me everything, and with that, in a very tense fight, by accidental, by accident promoting a queen instead of, no, a knight instead of a queen, but I still managed to win on seconds, and here I won the game, Emmanuel Jimenez, Intersmaster Emmanuel Jimenez, he's from Costa Rica, good game, that was very, very intense game, <laughs> what can I say, yeah, it was. Very hard to win. Okay, let's put it to my Leeches Games with Analysis and my Games on Leeches. It is like 205, 206, 207? 207. Yeah, <laughs> I just remember it's something over 200. Uh, I didn't remember exact. Okay, computer! And then level 22 with white pieces. Let's go. D4, D5, ooh, ooh la la, is this going to be, is this going to be, no, <laughs> ah, okay, mm-hmm, 
I don't like playing. I like playing with a move for me. <laughs> I didn't like playing losing move anymore. Alright, that's actually aggressive play. I think I'm safe to go to h2. I might just stick with the queen already. Takes, takes, these. Strike king d2 and then bishop d3, because my idea is like kind of to go to b file. Just want to trade this bishop away. No, he doesn't want to, but I don't really want to trade the bishop. I just want to get... Oh, no, okay. Knight e4 is the idea. Okay. That's interesting. What if I go for a b5? Ah. Uh -huh. I mean, king e2 is interesting. And the d2 idea. Oh, no, 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 I would have hung up on, I would have hung up on. Sorry for, uh, yeah, sorry for screen. Okay. King c2. Mm, this is interesting also. But I don't think it is good enough. I don't know, just play rook b4. Whoa, okay. And play rook c1. And then like knight e1, I think. Or. Or, 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 or. c4 doesn't work. Knight e1 and then knight e3. Pretty much looking quite fine. I think. This. I can take and then put my knight to d2. But I can also take and try to put my knight to c5. Which I think looks quite fine. Knight b2. And c4 is interesting, uh, but knight b2 has e5. c4, e, I don't know, I'll try knight b2, I think I should not lose a rook at least. This f c4, bishop f8, rook a4, looks quite fine, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Should be. This, c5. And c5 takes. And takes, 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 knight c4, takes, takes, rook b7, king g6, I'm an exchange, don't have compensation for it. I'm sure if that's what I want, mm, but I think I may take c, takes d, it takes back, I'll go for knight d3, just so my rook is free to go to b1, okay, here king e2, uh, this, Go to b3. Okay. That's important move, it feels like. Because taking I'll then have this pawn. As rook e8. Oof. King d1, h takes g. Ooh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> My pieces are like not coordinated, it feels like. I already have like less piece on inside and I will have even less so I'm not sure if it's what I want. I can try my b4. <laughs> um, I can try my b to trade in this night away. Maybe that's an interesting idea. No, takes, 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 takes. Mm, I mean, okay. Fair enough, I guess I can go for it. Let's try. Take, no, okay, takes but not there where I was thinking he will. Okay, f takes c. Uh huh. I see takes. Takes. Is he going to go for bishop d4? He does, but I'll take. Takes, I take. And bishop c5. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. e4 is a move which looks quite cool. Um, yeah, because bishop g1 protecting this pawn is very passive, so let's go for e4. These. Uh huh. Let's go bishop g3. And maybe I can try like a4, a5. And I don't know what, but a4 is definitely, I think, worse trying these. I guess bishop e1. Uh huh. So he fixed, but I, I can take, but then he has to have two. <laughs> which, which I'm not sure if that's what I really want. I'm gonna go for g4, h4, bishop a5, then. Do bishop a5 stuff. I mean, interesting. Interesting offer. But g4 creating a weakness, but then I have bishop d2. g4, h4, bishop a5. 
And we have two kidney one. Okay, H2. Bishop B4. Bishop D2 is possible. This bishop G5. Rook H1. Kidney 2. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> um. Well, it's, I mean, G3 is like same idea. Let's try G4. H4. No, oh, okay, nice. Uh, King E5, I can take this. This okay, that should be fine, I think. King E1. Should be 4. Ooh, okay, this. I can give a check on E5. I'm sure. I mean, yes, can have three, can have four, can have threes there. She's kind of scary. Hmm. King of one, g4, then a5? Maybe that? This venture? King of one now? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Can I four is quite quite an idea which I don't really want him to play, you know? Uh yeah, that's one of these ideas. I mean bishop c3 can have for bishop d4 is interesting offering a trade. Can have three bishop b3 I should be fine. Then he has like bishop d2, and then I can go like in e2. So I'll give a check and I'm bishop d4, I think. I think. And bishop d4 should be quite fine. Takes these check and then rook b3. Yeah, I mean check is kind of needed, I think. Then rook b3. Okay, takes I take that should be quite drawable. Nice. I'll just put Rook on second rank. Yeah, that's G pawn. I can passively defend pretty much. Uh, but okay, I'll give a check. And then go to A8. And then I'll just go with my king. Back and forth pretty much. Uh, but if he goes here, I give a check. Here, I give a check. And I'll basically check him. <laughs> until he's tired and he's, uh, he's asking for a draw, you know. Oh, is he already? No. <laughs> Said easy already? No. Okay, I'll just play rook j here. Fine. <laughs> fine, I'm fine with this. Just takes and rook straight, I think. It's going to be quite easy and obtainable. <laughs> oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe this is going to be a part where where it will be some problems. <laughs> okay, can I have three? Yeah, five is a draw. <laughs> Um, all right, let's play unlimited rook versus rook. Limited, I mean, with no time. <laughs> okay, king g4, nice, okay. And draw, there is game, grandma, level 22. That was not good, I, I mean, it was good defense, I'm pretty sure. But I felt like I was losing. So I'm not sure if it actually was a good game. Well, well played for me. Actually, a draw. <laughs> okay, 94 to 10 for me, 94 to 8 for him. The over game was for each of us. One great move for each of us. So, if some best move for me, 40 for him. 8 excellent for me, 6 for him. 9 good move for me, 8 for him. 6 good move for me, 5 for him. 7 next for me, 8 for him. That's a lot of inaccuracies. 3 mistakes for me, 4 for him. 1 1 for me, 0 for him. And 0 missed wins for each of us. So, it says. Like balanced game, yeah, something like this. Yeah, feels like. I mean, it was actually quite balanced. Uh, to protect an undefended piece, I mean, rook c1 is one of the moves. Uh, okay. Queen c2. Then queen b3, I think, gotta be. But rook c1, I think, would have been fine also. Knight d3 was a blunder. Uh, to trade peace, 
okay? From 0 0.6 advantage to like minus one. Uh, where should I go? Can you one? <laughs> Maybe? I'm not sure. I mean, KD1 then, yeah, okay. Quite weird, but okay. Uh, threat win material, ah, from here, yeah, that makes sense. And that's a great move. And the rest was quite simple draw. That was, it felt a bit sweaty or scary. I want to say both of them, but I was confused. And then, yeah, very much. Just check, 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 check. It was G pawn, so it was much easier to defend. I could have even just put a king on G1 and rook on F1, and he just cannot promote. And yeah, plus 2.4 and 9701 in total. Alright, so I'll finish this very cool, well, kind of short, but very, very cool stream. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, please remember from Club and Home Tier and Fun Club. And I'm a club, there are 165 members. Thank you all very, very much. So, the five members and I will make tournament to 200 members. So, Feel free to join, I will be very happy. And also, please join the Mental Chess, Patch Russian Club. My teams are 1047 members. Thank you all very, very much. So, 53 members. And I will make around 1100 members. So, yeah, feel free to join, I will be very, very happy. And thank you for following all the chess on YouTube and on Twitch. And as usual, click the like button. And subscribe to me and please come see you on the channel. Please join my Discord. Please And also, please join my Discord. If you join my Discord, you will get notifications when I start streaming on Twitch. And when I post videos, you will link in the description. Yeah, bye bye. Come back, guys. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Have fun. See you tomorrow. See you